Hi, my friend. Maybe you are hurting and struggling and um, maybe your heart has been really, really heavy lately. I want to encourage you to talk to Jesus about that. Share the desires of your heart with him. Share what is going on inside of your heart and inside of your thoughts. Sometimes I will find myself just saying, hey, Jesus, you already know about all of this stuff, but I still want to tell it to you. I still want you to know where I'm coming from and what I'm thinking about and what I'm dreaming about, what I'm hurting from. Just think about when you're in relationship with your friends. Even if you know something is bothering them or hurting them or something joyful that's going on in their life, even if you already know that it's there, isn't it so much better when they tell you, when they talk to you about it, when they say, oh, hey, I am so excited because I just passed this huge test that gets me my license to be a realtor. You know, it's like so much better to know that kind of stuff from them specifically than to hear it from someone else. You know, like, oh, hey, did you hear that Stacy passed her test? It's like, you're still happy about it, but you want to hear it from that person, right? And I've had a lot of people on here asking how to pray. How can I pray? How can I pray every day? How can I pray all the time? Or what, what do I say kind of thing? And my answer to that always is just talk to God like he's your best friend. Talk to God like he is a person you love and adore. I mean, you can really talk to God about anything. You can bring him anything. Stuff that you're hurting from, maybe there's a lot of injustices that you don't understand why certain things are happening in the world or why certain things are happening in your life specifically. I think that it's totally okay to take those things to God and say, hey, I don't understand what is going on here. I don't understand what the purpose of this is. If it is a lesson for me, show it to me. I often also will ask God to show me things within myself that need to be changed or need to be repented from. But then I will also ask for the courage and the strength to change those things. I think it's kind of scary to be like, hey God, why don't you just show me this stuff about me that's not great? You know, and you don't want to leave yourself in that place. You want to ask God to show you those things, reveal them to you, but then also give you that courage and that strength to go ahead and pursue those changes within yourself. And also take your victories to Jesus. Take your joys to him. One thing I personally like to do and it's really silly, but it's just something that I've done for years and years, is I will say, <laughs> I'll be like, okay, God, I want to tell you a joke. I know that you already know the punchline because you know everything, but I want to tell you this really funny thing that I heard. And it just, for me, really anchors that relationship, that personal, intimate relationship that I have with God. And I will literally tell him a joke, whatever silly joke that it is, and then give him the punchline of it. And I probably laugh every time still just as much as I do when I first heard the silly joke. In those moments, it really grounds my relationship with God and, and cements it into being like, this isn't just a one-way street of me sitting here speaking out loud or speaking in my mind and it going nowhere. You know, it really makes it a beautiful, special thing that I do with my creator. And people will often ask me too, like, how often do you pray? How much do you pray? For me personally, it's just a continual conversation that happens all throughout the day, all day long. That voice inside my head that's talking, nine times out of 10 is talking to God and just being like, what are we doing here? What is this? What What's going on? Help me be more alert. The Holy Spirit, equip me with the right words, the right things to say to people. How, how do I love this person well? How do I love this person to the best of my ability and beyond in a way that ushers them towards you, right? I don't want people to see me is what I will tell God. Like, hey, I don't want this person to see me please let them only see you. Especially when someone's on the cusp of really pursuing a relationship with Christ and they haven't gotten there yet. I'm like, don't let me get in the way. Please, please, please do not let me get in the way. Holy Spirit, you take over and do your thing because we all know as people, we can tend to kind of overshare or overanalyze or, you know, we're trying to be helpful, but then it's, it's not all that helpful sometimes. So I just encourage all of you to take your burdens, take your joys, take those fun, funny moments. I mean, if you're like, what should I even say to God right now? 
and you really don't know, I want you to think of just one thing today that was really awesome that you enjoyed. Maybe there was like a TV show, there was a moment in the show that really stuck out to you that made you laugh or it made you cry. Share that with God. Share anything with him. He can literally handle anything that you share with him. So I just encourage you to go out in love, go out in peace. Please, please, please do not keep your kindness. Now, when I say that, what I mean is give your kindness away. Spread it around like it's a wildfire. Do not keep it. Do not keep your kindness and love others, okay? Love them well and love them deeply. Just as Jesus loves and delights in you, find a reason to love and delight in other people. Now you go off and have a wonderful day.